peace be with you. While I had hoped to be with you to thank you personally for your generosity towards United in Ministry, I am grateful to have this opportunity to be with you virtually today, to thank you for your continued support to our Diocesan Appeal in 2020. And I want to share with you what your donation has accomplished even in the midst of the obstacles of 2020. Without your support, the Diocese of Las Cruces simply could not accomplish all that is needed to ensure that the Gospel of Jesus Christ is preached to every corner of our ten county dioceses. In order that you might hear firsthand from some who have benefited from your support to the United in Ministry Appeal, I have invited several people to share in their own words how your generosity has helped to bring hope, strengthen faith, and provide charity to those in need of your financial support. I wanted to really thank everyone who does support United in Ministry. I know that this year has been challenging. We're constantly reading about how uh, money is tight, how many, so many people and businesses have had to close or lose their jobs. It's not easy to give, and it really never has been. But it's so inspiring to see the generosity of hearts. Thank you so much for your support. Obviously, I wouldn't be here as a deacon had it not been your generous prayers and your support. God willing, this coming summer in June of 2021, I will be ordained a priest of Jesus Christ for you, for the people of Las Cruces, and for the Universal Church. Through youth ministry, I believe our youth have been able to kind of find who they are in Christ, who they are in our church, and furthermore, take that and what they've learned and take it to who take it out into the world, being able to show witnesses to Jesus Christ and being able to show love and compassion and just understanding in total. Because of your generous donations, we can be able to fully support our youth through not only just funds, but being able to do things that others might not be able to do. And we're very thankful. More than anything else, it provides a time for reflection with your partner. Uh, and this, this happens to be with the church and it gives us a lot of time to just ask those questions and, and talk to each other. And I think it helped us set aside that time that we might not have otherwise carved out every week to set aside and talk about our relationship and what we wanted. So I think that's very important. The underlying message we have heard from each of these testimonies is, I have benefited because you gave generously. Now I can give back. I appreciate whatever you can do to assist. Know that God will never allow himself to be outdone in generosity. Words will never suffice in expressing my sincere gratitude. Nevertheless, on behalf of the Diocese of Las Cruces and all those you have served through your support, thank you, be assured of my prayers, and God bless you.